Elia. We spoke to a public affairs analyst, Bola Oba, on our Off the Press program to assess his opinion on the possible confirmation of Gambari's appointment. He had this to say. There are some bad antecedents about the gentleman. He was one of the most, one of the most vociferous rationalists of the enormous abuses of human rights that Abacha visited on Nigerians. Indeed, the name of Professor Gambari will live in infamy for what he tried to do to rationalize the state murder of Kansarewiwa and the other Ogoni, Ogoni activists. So I'm sitting there now thinking on the side of age, on the side of a negative antecedent in the direction of human rights, uh, human rights practices, on the side of his illiberality, which is inconsistent with democratic norms, and some of the pronouncements he has made before, is this the person that is suitable in a Nigeria where we have many other brilliant choices like him, and well-exposed people like him? My sister, if I were to be the person who will make the final decision, Professor Gambari is brilliant. He's erudite, he's diplomatically savvy, well exposed, but that position shouldn't be for him. Joining us live is Plus TV Africa News correspondent Amadine Uyi from Abuja. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Felicity. How much of a surprise does this appointment pose to keen political observers in Abuja? In fact, when the news first filtered in yesterday, so many people doubted it because Professor Gambari was not even one of those who would say we are in the running for the position of the office of the chief of staff. So many people had fingered other political actors who had been close to President Muhammad Ubari. But one thing was very clear. Those who had followed the Buhari presidency knew that the person uh, President Mohamed Dubari would be appointing would be someone that he had absolute trust in, or absolute trust on. Remember, that was the kind of relationship that existed between President Mohamed Dubari and the late Chief of Staff, Abakiari. So when the news first filtered in, so many people doubted it because nobody would have thought that President Gambari would even be considered. Remember that if you look at his pedigree, he had been someone who had always operated at international levels, at the UN level, at the African Union level. So for, for when the news came in, we had even tried to confirm with the presidential aides, and they did not confirm it, but still they did not refute it. So it came as a very, very big surprise to many in Abuja. You actually provided a report earlier, taking a look at the professional life of uh, Gambari. Uh, what do you think he brings to the table to boost the president's uh, cabinet? I think at this point in time, we'll look at his person, we'll look at his pedigree, and we'll look at his qualifications. Right from time, President Gambari had operated at the UN level. So it would not be, uh, it would not be uh, wrong to say that he steps in as a very, very big man into a small shoes, because you would not expect the person of President Gambari to accept the position of the chief of staff someone who had worked with the United States uh, Secretary General in the past, someone who had worked as a UN undersecretary, someone who had worked as a mediator to uh, international conflicts in Iraq and other parts of the world. So it, 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 it explains the kind of person he is. Yes, someone who has this big, large qualification, but somebody who brings humility to the plate. Someone who can say, oh, I know I've operated outside the shores of Nigeria, I've operated in the international scene, but I'm ready to give my all. If you also look at what Professor Gambari had been championing in the last few years, uh, 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 de uh, democracy, uh, dialogue, diplomacy, he's someone who Nigerians cannot point a finger at and say, this man has a leaning on any political issue. Because if you look at the, the issues that have been bedeviled 
leveling Nigeria, the, the insecurity crisis, the former headers crisis, uh, the crisis in the southeast, uh, the crisis in the north, northeast, the Boko Haram crisis. You see that President Gambari had also always been consistent and stood on one position, and that is dialogue. Let's dialogue to chart a way forward. Let's dialogue to get a better country. Let, so I think coming in, taking this position as the chief of staff, one of the closest persons to Mr. President, Nigerians will be sure, really, really, really sure, that he's going to be giving the best advice to President Mohamed Bari as his regards to good governance and the betterment of the poor Nigerians. Okay, before I let you go, I know you're a busy one right now. Um, is his appointment going to affect projections for the 2020 presidential elections? Yes, it will. Because like I said, Nigerians cannot at this point point to the leanings of Professor Gambari. We know he's a diplomat par excellence. But we know that at this point in time, if you have a man with that kind of pedigree at the helm of affairs, one thing is that if he has his way, he will fight for the best candidates come the 2020 uh, general elections. Remember that, yes, you can say it's two to three years to the general polls, but horse trading has already begun. We have seen different political camps already began to align to push towards a setting or towards different candidates. But at this point in time, Professor Gambari is one person you cannot point to say, ah, because he has come into the Buhari's cabinet, he's going to throw his support behind certain political candidates. All Nigerians are going to notice and see him for is that they are going to know that this is a diplomat who has always championed good governance. Okay, um, just this one just had to go. There are concerns about his age. Some say um, one would expect a younger person, not an older person at this time. Um, are those concerns misplaced in your opinion? Now, we have to understand the position of the chief of staff. Remember sometime last year when President Muhammad, Muhammad Dubari came out and said, see, all my staff are under my chief of staff. You have to report through Abakiari. Now, Nigerians will be, uh, will be asking themselves this question. Do they want a young, inexperienced person? Or do they want an older person who has wide experience, not just national experience, but international experience? Because at this time, he will be interfacing with not only the President Buhari's uh, staff within uh, and across Nigeria, he will also be putting an eye on Nigeria's international engagement. Don't forget that we have issues of the P and ID where Nigeria almost lost its assets. That is still there. So we need an international player of international repute that when he steps on the international scene on behalf of the president, he will be given respect. We have other issues uh, that uh, we also need an international player. The, the contract with Siemens, which is expected to boost Nigeria electricity, which is in the offing. That was one of the last assignments the chief of the late chief of staff, Abba Kiari, was pursuing. So right, at Amadine. this point in time, Nigerians have to ask themselves, like I said, do you want a younger person with less experience or do you want an older person with enough experience to manage their affairs? Thank you very much, Amadine, for your inputs to the news. Thank, thank you, Felicity.